Hi guys! So for this week, uh, aside from learning this get and post method topic, uh, we will be, um, I will be um, creating uh, three video lectures for this week only. Okay, so for the first video lecture, it focus on the ESEPT because I know that uh, most of you um, had a problem in uh, last, um, last week when our last topic because of there's a certain issue like undefined variable issue uh, we will be resolving that issue and aside from that we need to proceed with the get and the post method so the third part would be the integration of the get um get and post method with the eset okay so for our first topic we need to discuss about this function so we need to talk about the ESET function. So if you can see um, this, uh, let me change um, my cursor to pen. So let's talk about the ESET function. Um, ESET function, um, it is a function that checks um, whether a variable um, is set, which means that it has to be declared and is not null. So when you say null, there is no value, right? So this function returns true if the variable exists and not null. Otherwise, it returns false. If you can see here on our screen, okay, this is the inset function, and I got this picture from the w3resource.com. You can see it here. Okay, so if you can see here the inset value, oh, the inset function, which um, contains the variable my var check if the my var contains an, uh, a value or not if there is a value of course it will display true or um, if it's true it will display something or you can proceed to the next level so if it's not if there is no value if the value is null or empty um, the result will become false okay so again, why we are discussing this one? Because we need to double check first if the if the variable or for example, if this text box contains a value or if this checkbox is being checked or not. So if this text box it's, uh, contains a value, we can now proceed in calculating it like that one. That's why we are discussing the ESET function. Okay, so let's proceed with our syntax. Just uh, just like what you um, just like what you can see here. The ESET then put the variable. This is actually the syntax. So ESET, the is then set meaning you are setting something, then put the variable here. So you can put many variable as you want. Okay. Okay, let's proceed directly to our um, to our example. But before that, I need to turn, okay, start all my, and I'll be using my Visual Studio Code. Okay, here we go. So, one moment. Mm -hmm. Okay, so first thing that I need to do, I need to save this first. So this is an ESET uh, e exam um, x1.php. Okay, so right now, again, if we will go back to the... Um, um, to the uh, to the meaning of the function, it is by uh, it um, it checks whether the variable is set, uh, meaning um, it basically check if there is a value or there is a value inputted in the text box or not. Okay, so first things first, of course. Let me uh, wait. Uh -huh. Zoom in. Okay, there. 
and I need to hide this one. Wait. There you go. Next one. I need to put, for example, the head here. Close the head. The title of this one. Uh, for example, um, ESET function. Then closing the title. After closing that, let me go ahead and proceed with the body. Okay, so inside the body, I'll put the PHP. Okay, PHP. Then I close it. So some of you also are actually used to putting the doc type. Yes, actually you can also use that one. This is uh, for the version of our HTML5. Okay, so uh, this is actually the version of our HTML. Basically, we are using the HTML5. So let's proceed in putting the ESET or using the ESET here. So I need to create a variable. So for example, variable var1. So the var1 contains, for example, 10. Okay, it contains 10. Then if is set wait, var1 if var1 okay, that's actually uh, it will basically check if there is a value um, in var1. So if there is a value, what should it do? So first thing, echo uh, I need to put here um, wait for a while var var1 has has a, a value or contains a value uh, contains a value next okay let me try opening it localhost then asset here so 10 contains a value so basically we are only putting var1 there there you go one moment let me double check there you go so var1 contains a value so if var1 doesn't contain anything so what it should do so we will now create an else so we can just copy the echo here and doesn't have doesn't have a value Okay, so I'll go ahead and put here null so that the else will also display. Let me save it and refresh it. Okay, var1 doesn't have a value. There you go. So again, the purpose of eset value, uh, eset function, just like what I did here, um, we are checking if the variable, which is var1, contains a value or none. So if there is a value, of course, it will proceed to the next process or the next flow of the program. But if it's not, this is also for your um, uh, this is also for your error handling. So for example, in um, in creating a login page, before the user will um, click submit, we need to make sure that the username and the password contains a value, or the user inputted a value in the um, in the username and the password text box okay so hopefully you're able to um, um, imagine or you're able to visualize what is the uh, what is the purpose of the ESET function